All right, so we all know that the Husqvarna FE350 doesn't have the best uh, license plate holder, tail light, and turn signals from the factory. Uh, and it also just doesn't look very good. So I think with two simple products, we can really clean up the back end of this bike and make it look a lot better. One is the sick ass flush mount um, turn signals. And the other one is a Moose Racing Universal License Plate Bracket. With these two uh, products, I think we can really clean up the back end of this bike. So let's get right into it. As you'll see, that other side didn't take too long. I'm not con too concerned about how close the holes are for the cable and the screw because there's not gonna be that much force wrenching on that little uh, turn signal. And there's a nice, there's a pretty big washer under here on the back side. Um, and then the clip just plugs right into the factory clip. So super easy. Literally took me about five minutes to do that other side. So now we're gonna get in and do this last side here. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to trim this off yet. Probably will. It would really clean up the back of this a little bit more, but at least I got rid of these bulky, the bulky turn signals. I have these new ones in here that should do just fine. This new plate holder should work pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's done. It looks good. And uh, I'm happy with how it turned out. About $60 in parts, uh, which is really, Nothing, um, the fender eliminator from Sigas itself is about 75, but it's not as sturdy on the Husqvarna as it is on the KTM because it doesn't tie uh, into the subframe on the Husky is what I've heard. So it's a lot more floppy um, <coughs> than just modifying this version. So yeah, this is, this is awesome. I think it looks good and uh, very happy with how it turned out for the cost and it literally took me 30 minutes maybe uh, to do all that, which is, uh, well, time well spent. <laughs> 